Greetings and welcome to episode eight of the Iliotech Progress and Perspectives, in which I talk about my Minecraft mod Iliotech. So as you have seen, this mod features uh, gear mechanics, and these gear boxes are from a new material, namely bronze. And this episode, I will focus on adding the process to make bronze. Bronze will be made from copper and tin in the new foundry multi block. And you can make the foundry multi block from fire brick, which is made from a fire clay, a new kind of clay. To make bronze in the foundry, you will need copper and tin ore, but you also need to heat the foundry. To heat up the foundry multi block, you would need to heat it with a firebox. So, first of all, I want to talk to you about the firebox. You might remember from the last episode that I added the stoked fire as a heat source and this can heat up a cauldron from above and uh, this will evaporate the water. Now the firebox gives you an alternative to this. Instead of having to use the bellows, which is a bit hard to automate, you can use the firebox, but it does take fuel. So you simply put in some fuel, which you can put in with a hopper, and then you can heat the cauldron that's above, and you can evaporate the water. It's interesting because you can also use both in conjunction with each other, and when you use the bellows onto the firebox, it will stoke the fire in the firebox, so you need to provide fuel and you need to use the bellows, but my idea is that it will become extra hot, and this will allow the steam to be even more powerful. One interesting mechanic about the firebox which I added uh, to balance it is that after a while the firebox will be full of ashes and the fire will hardly be burning anymore. Then you need to use your shovel to clear it out and you actually get the ashes. And these ashes will not just be there to annoy you, they can actually be useful for some stuff, for example, for making uh, potassium. For making the foundry multi-block, I decided to use the Modernomicon mod. It will also be helpful for the guidebook of the mod, which I'm holding right now, but that's not done yet. Adding the Modernomicon gave me a bit of a difficulty, but I went in the Discord server and asked their developer, which was super helpful. And they actually made a pull request and they solved my problem for me, which was super helpful. So again, thank you to them. So when I added the Modinomicon, I could make the multi-block detection. And as you can see, when the multi-block is not assembled, I can click on the um, foundry, but I cannot open it. And when I complete the structure, I can actually open the menu of the foundry and it will work. So the nice thing about using this Modinomicon library is that if I put the foundry on another side so it's rotated, I can still click it and open it. And all the coding is already done for me, so this was really helpful and easy. Alright, so let's take a look at the UI of this thing. Here are two input slots for the ores. So let's go ahead and throw some tin and copper in there in the form of crushed ore. Now, of course, you also need to heat the foundry. There's no fuel slot, but if you hover over the fire, it also tells you provide heat with a large firebox. Then, of course, the idea is that you can read more in the book and then you can see how exactly you should build this uh, large firebox below it. Or, of course, you can watch my YouTube video as you are doing. Now, let's go ahead and throw a stack of coal in there. And as you see, there's some small particles coming out of this. And we are actually able to make bronze just like that. So every time it will consume three copper and one tin. The fire in the UI also reflects the firebox. So as you can see, now the fire is choking and you need to clear out the ashes. And it will also uh, tell you this in the UI. So I think that's a nice touch. So the idea is that when this firebox is choking, then maybe some recipes would not 
be able to be done at all. And also some recipes would maybe require you to stoke the fire because they need to be extra hot. Also, as you can see, there is this additional slot and this is for the flux and this one is for the slag. Because in some uh, recipes, you're going to need to add a flux, which will help to lower the melting point of the metal and also to remove impurities from the metal. So I made it look quite simple, but of course this was a lot of work to code into the game because it was the first multi-block and also the first UI screen. And I didn't even mention the hardest part yet, which was to add the custom recipe types such as the boiling recipe and the boundary recipe. But this allows you to just create these JSON files which says, okay, so three copper and one tin will become one bronze or I can also change it to three bronze for example and it was difficult because I needed to program how it will interpret and save these JSON files and also to check if the things you put into the foundry actually match the recipe but now that I figured that out it will be super useful for me for making my future machines Moreover, I also had an exam season and I had very difficult exams, like even one which was six hour long, so I had to study for those. And after that I became sick, so this also caused some more delays. But now I'm back in action, as you could tell, and I hope you like this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!